I'll show you a world that no two armed human can enter. This is the six sword style, which can only be performed by someone with six arms and a charmingly flexible body. I'm going to chop you up. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we are going to be examining everybody's favorite octopus fishman, Hachan. All right, before we get into this, let's cover some potential naming confusion. Hachan was introduced to us and is probably still better known as Hachi. However, the octopus himself has insisted that his real name is Hachan and Hachi is a nickname. This is incredibly confusing because in Japanese, Chan is used as a diminutive suffix and so is more likely to be a nickname, but there you go. Hachan is a fairly kind, dopey, and generally fun-loving fisherman who first appeared in the series during the Arlong arc. However, despite just describing him as kind, he was a member of the Arlong Pirates, which was the group responsible for the tyranny of Nami's home, Kokoyashi Village. But deep down, Hachan wasn't really a bad guy at all, and how he came to be an antagonist in the series is a bit tragic, actually. As a young fisherman, Hachi enjoyed a seemingly easygoing childhood, often hanging out with his friends Chu and Kurobi, dreaming of one day opening up a takoyaki stand. As a child, he also managed to save the life of Silver's Rayleigh, the former first mate of the Roger Pirates. And from then on, Hachan would often visit Rayleigh and Sharky on Saba de Archipelago. However, when Hachan grew older, he joined the Arlong Pirates, a group that had sprouted up in opposition of the ideals of Queen Otohime, who was heavily promoting peaceful and cooperative relations between humans and fishmen. Exactly why Hachan was opposed to this at the time essentially sprang from the fact that he would have been discriminated against during his entire life, as well as the poisonous influence of Arlong himself. Hachan and the Arlong pirates would eventually amalgamate into the Sun Pirates led by Fisher Tiger, a fisherman who had attacked the holy land of Marijuana. As part of the Sun Pirates, Hachan was involved in causing general chaos for the world government until one day they came across a human girl named Koala, who was a former slave of the Celestial Dragons. In a move that shocked the entire crew, Fisher Tiger agreed to transport Koala back to her home island. During their voyage, Hachan became quite good friends with Koala and was visibly saddened when the time came for her departure. However, upon returning Koala to her family, the Sun Pirates were ambushed by a legion of Marines led by then Rear Admiral Strawberry. The Sun Pirates managed to escape on a Marine battleship. However, the Captain Fisher Tiger received mortal wounds, leading to his death shortly after. An incredibly distraught Hachan Chan then became part of the reformed Arlong Pirates and set sail to East Blue, eventually conquering Kokoyashi Village and founding a new settlement known as Arlong Park. Hachi's main role in the crew was to be the caretaker of the sea cow Momu, however he was also quite an accomplished swordsman, practicing the art of Rokutoyu, meaning six sword style. And in fact, Hachi was thought of as the second strongest swordsman on his home of Fishman Island. During his long tenure at Arlong Park, Hachan was both directly and indirectly responsible for a wide array of atrocities committed against the human villagers. And while Hachan's certainly didn't take pleasure in the tyranny of humans as Arlong and the other crew members did, he did bear a large level of responsibility for being a passive party. After his captain Arlong betrayed Nami, the Straw Hats invaded Arlong Park, resulting in Hachan fighting against the swordsman Roanoa Zoro. Despite being heavily injured, Zoro convincingly defeated Hachan, and the remainder of the Arlong pirates, including Arlong himself, fell at the hands of the other Straw Hats, thus liberating Nami and Kokoyashi Village. Hachan and the rest of the Arlong pirates were then arrested by the Marines. However, Hachan managed to escape and began a journey that was detailed during his cover story known as Hachan's Seafloor Stroll. Essentially, this story follows Hachan intending to return to his home on Fish. Island, only to encounter Kami and Papug. And after various shenaniganry, the three of them open up a floating takoyaki stand known as the Takoyaki 8, thus fulfilling a childhood dream of Hachan's. But the story of this octopus is far from over. He would next appear when the Straw Hat sailed to Saba de Archipelago, being held hostage by the Flying Fish Riders. Kami had asked the Straw Hat pirates to help rescue him, however, upon discovering that it was Hachan, the crew changed their minds. Well, all except for Nami, that is, who despite having gone through a horrific experience involving the fishmen, decided to keep her promise to Kami and stated that Hachan is harmless. Hachan thanked the crew by offering them some of his takoyaki, and although Nami would not forgive Hachan for what he had done, she did grant him that the takoyaki was quite tasty, which left Hachan overjoyed. Hachan then accompanied the Straw Hats and showed them around Sabadi, taking them to theme parks and such. But unfortunately, somewhere along the way, Kami was captured by slave traders and taken to the human auction house to be sold off to the highest bidder. Hachan and the Straw Hats attempted to win Kami by bidding. However, they were dwarfed by a 500 million berry bid by a celestial dragon by the name of Saint Charlos. After attempting to prevent Luffy from taking action against the World Noble, Hachan was shot by Charlos, who was incredibly proud of his efforts and intended to take Hachi as a bonus slave. Luffy then punched the hell out of Charlos, causing a string of events that would lead to the two-year separation of the Straw Hats. Meanwhile, Hachan was taken to Rayleigh's house in order to recover. 
During the two-year time skip, Hartshine protected the Straw Hat ship, the Thousand Sunny, from wave after wave of Marines along with the Rosy Life Riders. However, Hartshine sustained serious injuries during one particular battle and was forced to return to Fishman Island to recover. Speaking of, Hartshine would next be seen during the Fishman Island arc, still recovering from his injuries. In this state, he attempted to speak sense to Hody Jones, who was planning to launch an assault on the Ryugu Palace. However, Hartshan's words fell on deaf ears, and he was injured yet again by the Devil Fruit powers of Vanderdecken. Meaning that throughout this series, Hartshan has become a very unfortunate individual, having been sliced, shot, and struck by a barrage of arrows. I guess he does have yet to be hit by a cannonball, though. Maybe that'll be next. In any case, a once again gravely wounded Hartshan managed to escape and encountered the Straw Hat Pirates on Fishman Island. He then proceeded to warn them of Hody's plans while receiving medical attention from Chopper. Hachan was then taken to the seafloor forest and left there to recover with Kami, while the Straw Hats proceeded to defeat Hody Jones and the new Fishman Pirates. After Hody's defeat, Hachan, along with Den and Kami, witnessed a miraculous sight as a group of Sea Kings dragged the Noah out of harm's way and plonked it down in the sea forest. He was later seen enjoying a victory banquet at the Ryugu Palace and was present to bid the Straw Hats farewell from Fishman Island. Some more fun facts about Hachan. In One Piece Green, it was revealed that Hachan's character was originally intended to be a squid fishwoman by the name of Maple Reed. Despite being an octopus, Hachan makes and sells takoyaki, which is battered fried octopus. And while this has always weirded me out a little bit, apparently it's okay, because in the animal kingdom, octopi have been known to be quite cannibalistic. And finally, a truly useless fact, after Hyozo aged rapidly due to the overuse of energy steroids, Hachan is now technically the strongest swordsman on Fishman Island. Wait, that wasn't useless. And that pretty much does it for Hachan. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you want to see more of this sort of stuff and are keen on supporting independent creators, then also feel free to check out my Patreon, the link to which is in the description below. Finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.